Alright you guys, today we're taking a look at the Orange Pi, which is probably one of the most powerful ARM-based single ball computers you can buy right now. Now some of the pricing has gone up on these little mini single ball computers quite a bit, but this one is a pretty decent deal. This one comes in at around about $60 odd, $70 for the 4 gigabyte version. The 8 gigabyte version is around about $80 or something like that, or a bit more on AliExpress. Now, the good thing about these are is they go up to a 32 gigabytes in memory. If you ever needed a bit more memory, you can buy one with uh, that particular type of memory on the board. And this one claims to support 8K at 60 FPS, which is pretty powerful video codec for a single board computer. So they have made massive advances on these little single board computers. So this one does support the Rockchip RK3588S which is a very good and popular processor, so four core processor. We do have USB 3.0 on here and USB 2.0. We also have the Type-C 3.0 uh, port on here and a Type-C power port on here as well. HDMI out for this one. We also have the RAM going from two gigs, four gigs, eight gigs, and 16 gigs times two, so that'll be up to 32 gigs of RAM, which is pretty decent for a single board computer. Now we also have a gigabit ethernet port, that memory card slot on here, three camera uh, ports here, and also two LCD ports on there as well. On the back of the actual board here, we do have that uh, M.2 PCI Express 2.0 on here, which supports 2242, uh, which is PCI Express 2.0 basically. Speeds, not the fastest speeds in the world, but for a single board computer, that is pretty decent. Booting from the PCI Express 2.0, uh, M.2 slot will be faster than your micro SD card. You can boot from the M.2 slot and the micro SD card and also USB as well. These are the full specs you, you can see here. You can pause the screen and read these at your own leisure. You can run multiple different operating systems on this device as well. And uh, let's go and take a look at some of the uh, benchmarks and some of the things that this device can actually do. So first off, we're going to run uh, the Geekbench uh, CPU score here. So I'll just quickly run this so you can get an idea of the sort of speed. Single core is 552, and the multi-core score is 2,303. And you can see we're running Android on this actual device right now. I'll show you Linux a little bit later on. It can gameplay as well. We're just going to do uh, Real Racing 3 here, and you'll be able to see uh, playing some games here. No problem at all. Pretty smooth. For a little small board like this, it is pretty amazing what you can actually do on these single board computers. Now, there's no calling on this at the moment or no case. I've just got it lying on the bench with some cables uh, running out of it. So it's not the best uh, test here. It's going to get a little bit warm here and there. But all in all, you can see it is running this no problem at all. Pretty smooth gameplay and uh, very enjoyable for this. Now, you could literally use this as a desktop computer. As long as you're not doing anything too taxing, you could literally use this as your daily grind where you're, you know, watching YouTube and also uh, maybe doing some Word documents, some emails. It'd be perfectly fine for those types of tasks, but it can also do the odd bit of uh, light photo editing and also some light gameplay like you're seeing here. This is Beach Buggy Racer and you can see it's silky smooth, no problems at all. So if you're looking for something that do some light gaming and uh, can do some general computer work, then something like this Orange Pi 5 might be for you. It's pretty affordable, as I've said, $65 to $70 for the 4 gig version. And also, if you want the 8 gigabyte version, you can get that for around about $80 on AliExpress. I'll leave some links in the video description if you're interested. And I'm getting absolutely trashed on this game, but I still got a chance to win here. So let's just try and finish off strong and win the game so here we go i'm just going to fire this here and try and get forward there's a rocket i've got here just give a little fire missed him and i just sneak in there and get the victory there we go never give up so this is some um psp uh, emulation and uh, this one is playing pretty good as well again i've just messed around with the settings here i've got this on three times or something like that uh in the uh, upscale so pretty good and I've got the Gods of War here. As you can see, gameplay on here, silky smooth as well. No problem at all. You can mess around and tweak with the settings to your liking. Again, you can turn this down or up depending on how much you can push yours. Uh, I have not really messed around too much, but 
again, it's really enjoyable to play some of this retro uh, games. Now, moving on to the uh, Linux part here, I just want to download Linux. I'm going to download Ubuntu and get this installed on here so you can see what Ubuntu looks like. Now, Ubuntu runs super smooth on here. It really does. So if you're looking for a cheap, affordable, little, tiny, single ball computer, you can stick this in a case, get some Wi-Fi on here and some Bluetooth, plug in a little keyboard and mouse, and you can literally have this in a camper home or some sort of really small tight space where you don't have a lot of space you can use something like this and it will work away no problem at all and do some of your daily tasks like emails surfing the web watching youtube just your general computer use really now i'll quickly show you uh, some youtube playback so you can see what it looks like now if you wanted to play say for instance a 1080p video it will play these no problem at all you do get a few little drop frames here but it is smooth there's no uh, jerkiness at all now i did try 4k on here and you do get quite a few uh, frame drops but it is playable and uh, it's quite an enjoyable experience but i would prefer to use this as a 1080p streaming device so that is the first look at the orange pi 5 pretty decent bit of kit if you ask me and uh, i'll leave some links in the video description if you're interested in getting yourself one of these now there has been a bit of a shortage on the raspberry pi 4 so if you want to get yourself a single ball computer then maybe check out the Orange Pi 5. It's a pretty decent uh, device, really, if you're looking for something with plenty of power. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.